Hey YouTube, what is going on? It's Black Tiger here again today, and we are back with another rare car today, guys. Today we have the uh, Dinka Ballista, or Blista. Yeah, Blista. But yeah, this is basically the modern version of the Blista Compact, which I'll show you guys here in a second. Um, yeah, we'll just all ensure you guys that this can't be bought anywhere, but um. Yeah, so yeah, here's the Dinka Ballista Compact. So yeah, I guess this is... Apparently these cars are Honda Civics, I think. So, I guess this is an old Honda Civic. I think, I don't know. I'm not really not uh, that good with older Hondas and stuff like that. But yeah, I think that's what it is. But, yeah, there's the older version of it. And for some reason, that came out after the, like, the Dinka Ballista, the newer one, has been in the game since launch. So it's kind of random they added the older one after. But, uh, yeah, you can't buy the uh, regular Ballista online anywhere. And it actually is pretty hard to find. Uh, I don't know what they did, but this car used to spawn all the time. But for me, at least, literally, I haven't seen this car in ages. And I just found it randomly driving around, uh, like, the Los Santos area. Um, I'll show you the location. Literally, I don't really know any spawn location other than around here where I found it. And, oh, uh oh that guy is going to blow me up, I think. But yeah, I think I was driving around, oh, I forget the time, it was like, it was either 1 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon, I think, like GTA time, so like, right now it's 9 o'clock, so about 2 o'clock, still light outside, obviously, so like, afternoon-ish. Whoa, what the heck was that? Okay, that guy went extremely airborne there. <laughs> He's getting abducted by like UFOs or something. I don't know what happened there. But yeah, okay, let's open the doors on this thing. And sorry guys, disregard the damage on this. I uh, kind of screwed up driving here. I'm such a bad driver. It's like smashing everything. But uh, yeah, it'll uh, look nice in a second when I bring it to the garage. And yeah, this thing actually does have quite a lot of upgrade options so you can make this look pretty nice. It's a cool hot hatch hatchback uh, car. I like hatchbacks actually. I think they're cool. I think if I was going to buy like a small compact car, I would get it in a hatch uh, hatchback version, I think, because they just look cool. Like the new uh, Ford Focus RS or, uh, yeah, I think it's RS. It actually looks so nice. It's got like 350 horsepower or something like that. For a small car like that, it's pretty crazy. And then like twin turbo, obviously. So, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, let's bring this thing uh, to the uh, Los Santos Customs, and we'll show you guys the upgrade options. It's got a cool looking trunk too, I'll open it again for you guys if you missed it. But uh, it actually just like, opens up like that, so yeah, it's pretty cool. It's like a little mini trunk. Yeah, okay, let's uh, go upgrade this thing. And yeah, I just found it in uh, orange randomly, matte orange. It's actually a pretty rare color, I've never seen it before in, uh, in uh, orange. And the, yeah, the stock rims look pretty nice as well. Nice and chrome. And they're actually like pretty, pretty big, like low profile. There's hardly any tire on them. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Come on, let me in. Hello. Anyone home? This guy doesn't want to do anything for me. You don't want to make any money, buddy? Hello. Okay, there we go. Finally, it's about time. Slacker. Here for the magic touch. Yes, I am here for the magic touch. Okay. So yeah, there we go. There, it's repaired. So yeah, obviously armor breaks, and then we go into bumpers. So you can add that nice front splitter. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's nice actually. And then you can extend. Well, that literally just extends the back of the body. That actually looks pretty sick. Oh, yeah, because then you can put on the double exhaust, so I guess that looks nice with that. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so you put on the double exhaust, and then you put on the uh, extended bumper, and then that uh, blends in nicely with that. So that's actually pretty sweet. Yeah, that's cool, actually. And then so hood. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, I actually like that a lot. That looks sick. And then horn, obviously. Um, skirts. 
Got nice skirts. Oh, this thing actually looked pretty nice, fully upgraded. And suspension, drop it down a bit. Oh, it looks quite nice. Turbo. And then wheels. I'm not going to look at the wheels because, yeah. <laughs> oh, that looks cool. Oh, I actually like that. I like the full tent on this car. It looks pretty sweet. Yeah, that's that. And uh, we'll show you guys how fast this thing is stock. Hopefully you're able to find it. I really have no clue where this thing spawns, like a 100% spawn location. But, uh, oh, what car was I driving when I found this? I think I was driving my Bugatti. Either, yeah, either my Bugatti or my classic Corvette. I could have been driving either of those. Um, yeah, I think. I don't think I was driving my Progen. I haven't had much luck finding this driving the Progen. I find the Bugatti spawns quite a few rare cars. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. But yeah, this thing's actually pretty fast stock, so fully upgraded. This thing's actually going to be a pretty sweet hot hatch. Probably one of the best uh, hatchbacks in the game for sure. Go first person here. Take a look at the inside. Quite nice. Nice interior, actually. I like it. I like the layout. Looks pretty sweet. Uh, heads up display there. Well, no, obviously not a heads up display, but I mean, like, it's easily visible. Some of the displays in GTA 5 are, like, blocked by the steering wheel, so this one's, like, nice right in front in your face, which is pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, guys, that's basically it for the view of the Dinka Ballista. Hopefully you're able to find it. It is quite rare, actually. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hope you enjoyed.